The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Tiger Technician Hour with your host, Basil Chapman. Call now, toll free at 1 877 927 6648. Now, Basil Chapman. Good morning, everyone. Basil Chapman here. This is the Tiger Technician's Hour. This is the uh, Friday, the uh, 23rd edition. And what are we looking at? We're looking at, let me just draw this in for you a little clearer. It's a, it's a pattern that's worked very, very often. You can see why. And I'm just going to put it in. I'm not saying this. I'm, I'm just saying there is resistance. I'm not saying this This could be a major turnaround or anything like that. I just want you to point this out, that when these patterns repeat, when they come, um, when they prove themselves, as this particular from this high that was made back in the Dow on the 20th of December at 37,641, you can see that drawing just a simple line, I changed the color to green. Why did I change it to green? Because that says if there is a push, significant push above this line, you've turned this whole pattern, this red and green mini channel into a support level. Right now, it is a Chapman Wave resistance and repellent area. So how we break out above it, how we pull back over the next few days is going to be really important. We did close in the 39,000s. To me, I thought the 38,900s would be that the 39,000 millennium level would be a resistance. And uh, as, as a result, we've been going basically sideways except for the breakout yesterday. And I have to tell you, <clears throat> when a trend is in place, normally what you're looking at is any, any um, trigger that could assassinate that particular stand, that trend, it doesn't take much to do it. And most of the indices three days ago were really pulling back quite sharply and testing support levels so that NVIDIA tsunami that came in yesterday uh, wasn't just a one-off. It was very important because it was kind of broad and it even impacted the uh, Chinese, the FXI. And I'll go to that in a moment, but I did hear the bell ring and the bell ring says, we've got Garo in Newport Beach, California. Garo, how are you? How are you, sir? I'm very good. Thank you. Very good. You'd like to look at? Nova, N-O-V-A. So this is uh, it's a, so, so it's Nova, a, uh, Sonova it's Energy. It's a power. It's just some okay. power. Yeah. Okay. And it's trading down now um, 66 cents at 7.91. And yes, as I'm seeing it, <clears throat> the volume yesterday was one of its largest down volume days uh, in a long time. I don't want to go back and say, I don't, I don't want to change this right now, but in at least months. And the volume today, so yesterday the volume was 22.3. Today's volume is, uh, wow, 22, is already 2.8. And it's sharply down. And I'm, ju I'm just going to guess that you went short. <laughs> yes, yesterday at open, uh, on 30 minutes, on 30 minutes at the open, at uh, 9.30 your time, at $11, $11 when uh, the, the candle hit the bottom dot of the star and yep. the dot uh, moved up right there at $11. I have 3,000 shares and still I hold it. And uh, this company is going into lawsuit. And again, oh. uh, I, I showed it run to RUN. Uh, that is a majority of the uh, sun companies are uh, are in short. Uh, so Whoa, I have both yeah, of them. That... I have 3,000 of Nova and 1,000 uh, with Run. I need so your can idea I, can regarding I... how short that can go. Should I get out uh, or is there support here when I look at the daily chart uh, or, uh, or there is room going down? So being a Friday... You're going to have to go the whole weekend to see, first of all, where it closes. It's trading at 791. The low today is 788. The, yes. the power and the impact, the thrust to the downside with all the technicals fading is so powerful that my eye says that it's going to take out the low that was made 
back in October of 762. Uh, it sounds like, oh, big deal, it's already 792. 762, if it takes that out, it's taking out um, a couple of months' worth of, of action that went to the upside. And that says that yes. all the, everyone who's owned the stock since that October low is now in a losing position. And I suspect that they will, it'll exacerbate the move to the downside as people say, ah, I'm done. I'm out of this. So I would, I'd, I'm going to say this to you, but by the time I'm finished saying it, you could, you could well be out of the whole thing. But what I would absolutely do, because you, you're in such a favorable, favorable position, I would absolutely take something off now. You could even say I'll take off a third. I'll keep two thirds. And one third, I would just make something like nine, the buy stop. But I try to keep as much as I can going. If, if it close, look, if it bounces inch a day and it gets to $8.15, then maybe it won't close at the low of the day. But if it keeps every hour, if every hour it closes at the low of the day, going in, even if it's just by a penny and a penny, when it gets to the close today, if it closes at the low or within pennies of the low, I, I would right. not be surprised if Monday if if it gaps it gaps down fifty cents or a dollar because people are going to be really nervous about this. They might not even be looking at it until the weekend, and and now oh, it's taken oh, oh, oh. out. You understand yeah, my thinking? My thinking is not price so much because the price the momentum is a waterfall cascade to the downside. My my thinking is psychological. This is where you want to be the psychiatrist. None of us professional or professional psych psychiatrists in the market. But if you look at the market and you say to yourself, what would I do? I would say if I wasn't watching this and I suddenly got an, I looked later today or over the weekend and the darn thing is below that low of October, I'd say I, I can't take this anymore. It's failed me every single time I thought it was going to rally. It rallied from the eights to the 12s, and now look at it. It is in the 7s. So that's what the, that's my thinking. And another thing, because you're watching it, I would I would take I would absolutely just because of money management, I take something off right now, and then I just I lower a mental buy stop. You don't even have to have a physical buy stop. You can see it acting right now very poorly. I do want to go to the 120 minute chart for one second. There we go, 120 minute chart, because that could be trying to base. Oh no! Look at that. Stochastics at 2.69. Um, oh, this doesn't look very. This really doesn't look good. How did you come across this as a short? Um, I have uh, all the some powers in one of my watch lists, and uh, when I go from sector to sector, when I see that everything is in red, uh, and usually I decide that on 15 minutes. 15 minutes, it tells you that what's going to happen the following day, more or less. Oh, okay. Like, yeah, 15 minutes, right. it tells you. So, yeah, if, if the 15 minute is bare, that means there's a lot of possibility that the stock is going to go down the following day. Like, like uh, I knew that uh, I knew that coin is going to go down, but I didn't. Uh, I, I, I had all my money stuck on run and Nova. But uh, Mr. Bajor, I'm not the type of person to keep some, sell some of it, or buy some of it and leave for the following day. Either I'm in or I'm out. You see? Okay. Yeah. Well, I'm, yeah, I'm just saying to you. Oh, thank you right, very much. I hear the right music. Now, thank you, sir. Gonna, it, it, it should try thank to you. balance Have this nice particular day. one. Be and careful. Nice okay. Bye-bye. Thank you very much. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years 
years' experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. The Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Uh, so I see a question uh, in the den. I can, so two questions. One is, uh, can I uh, review MRO, RRC, and LBRT? I'll get to that, but the, one, the most immediate one is that I thought that someone was long TSCO. Now, I've done tractor supply, I don't know how many times over the years. It's just one that I follow, like I follow uh, uh, waste management. This is one of those that just gives me a huge, uh, uh, it gives me a sense of what's going on in a very important area, of course, that is uh, tractor supply. And as a result, I've, um, I kind of, I'm familiar with the, uh, let me just finish this here, peak, A, peak, peak, uppercase on the way up, A, B, C, D, E, and that was a, is that a rogue wave, A, B, and that's an alternate count, F slash C. All right, so now I've got this and everything still is very positive. And I think it's going to go to a D in the daily, in the monthly, and an A, B, it's already got to a D in the weekly. It's already achieved a whole bunch of things. So this is what I would do. First of all, I would have said, uh, just a very quick, if you're long, stay long, because this looks very strong, long and strong for tractor supply. TSCO is trading up $1.42 at $241.20. Now, let me show you something else. This is Technical Friday. So in the Chapman Wave methodology, I may as well just go to this if I can find it right here. Yeah. In the Chapman Wave methodology, we're always trying to identify the lowest low bar and then merely count each successively higher peak. For instance, we've just got that in a brand new buy that we had on a stock that I followed for years, I mean decades, because it's got such a, 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 an unusual name and it's in the whole agri area. And um, I'm looking at our DBA agricultural fund and I'm saying, gee, the, the grains, are, the soft grains, are, everything's looking horrible. And this Dawn DBA is actually at most recent highs. What is going on? I'm not sure what the, what the mechanism there is. So I chose this particular stock yesterday. Uh, we got in. Fortunately, we, we got in as it was pulling back early in the morning as it opens. And that now seems to be the character. So I want to talk about two things. is character of, character of whatever it is that you're trading. Try to identify what it does during the day. There are some stocks that almost always open soft. And then they get stronger during the day. And either they then close at the high 
or they close well off the high. Get to know the characters. Sometimes there's stocks that always pop up and then they pull back and then the rest of the day starts. So in this particular instance, I just want to show you something here. We try to identify the lowest low and then go to count each successively higher peak, alphabetized sequentially, uppercase on the way up, lowercase on the way down. Peak A is the first, peak B is the second. It's called a, a floating letter until it makes a peak. One penny above the previous peak gets the new name on the upside, same on the downside. So that goes to a D. We always want to get an upgrade from a buy signal to a buy mode, which says that we should go to at least a D, four higher peaks. At that point, other things can happen. Okay, it can go to E, F, and G. There's never an H in the Chapman Wave methodology. I don't want to go into that part of it right now, but let me just explain to you. So what I did is a very quick, I've always done this, and, and I didn't realize I had lost the, I, I was quite surprised at how much information I lost. I don't, want to, I don't even want to talk about it right now in terms of how suddenly things shut down and I lose information, and then the uh, chart goes back to, I lose, or it, it goes to another Part of the library. I don't know what it is, but I, I've lost then a whole bunch of the latest notations and I, I find the old notations. Uh, anyway, it's complicated. So anyway, track to supply. I'm, I did right now. It took me only a minute. So what if we look for peak Ds? Well, here was a peak D. Here's your buy signal. Gets upgraded to a buy mode because the MACD stochastic rally, but the on-balance volume isn't that great. So it pulls back under the 200-period moving average. It fails under the 200-period moving average without touching it. I usually say you've got to wait. It's going to try to come back, but you've got to wait. I, we've got someone in the den who, who is showing people how he uses the RSI. He's also got a particular technique that suggests that it should, whatever you're doing, if a certain level it hits, it should come back. And that's really important to that level. All right. In this case, it starts another brand new buy signal. It stalls for days at the 200 period moving average. And then it goes peak A, B, C, and it goes C and D. D pulls back sharply. Where? To the 200 period moving average. Then it goes another peak. A peak, B peak, C takes out that old peak D and it goes to a new peak D. And then it pulls back and it starts a new buy mode. Now, the most important thing to remember, within three bars of peak D, if you make a new recovery high, you get a Chapman Wave instant restart. It doesn't mean to say it's going to work, but that tells you you can have an alternate count. Use the alternate count because if you get to a G, it's very often a G slash D. I just want to have a look here to see if we're finally getting a little bit of a pullback. Yep, there's your rectangle formation. There's your arch formation in the E-mini. Now, I am going to go to track the supply company in the very short term, one minute, um, five minute, and the 10 minute. It's trading at 241.18. I don't know where you, you've got the puts, how long you've had them. With the, well, it, because it's at an all-time, I'm, I'm suspecting that you're under underwater, and that's the reason why you said, should I, a prisoner put, should I stay or should I go? Okay. Um, let's go back to what we were looking at in the daily chart. Now, the daily chart says you've now got to, this is not a leg A to the upside. It has to make a low and make a higher low so that you've got a trough to start a new wave count. So this is either a continuation of that as an E or it's the start of a new move, and there's your A, there's your B, there's your C, and now we're in leg D, and it looks strong. Stochastic is actually flat, but holding flat, it holds the last signal that you have, in this case, an up signal. Stochastic is at 86. That's good. On balance volume is, is quite strong. The 9 is over the 14. So I'm going to suggest you ask me my opinion, and I always find that... <clears throat> If you don't get out the moment you recognize something and your mind says, I better ask about it or I better do something, I'm going to suggest that your best cover is right now. Why? Because if TSCI trading it now, it's at $1.60. If it goes um, towards the high of the day, which is 241.54, it's almost there. In the next hour, there's a chance that by the end of the day, it could be up not $1.60, but $2.30. And therefore, unless the market has something over the weekend that really knocks it for a loop, you 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 could be paying up. So I'm going to suggest you can always come back. You know how much you're going to get right now for the, the puts. You won't get the best because the premiums are being sucked out of it, especially going into a Friday. But I'm going to suggest 
at least get out of most of them. That's, I've learned that, I try to implement that, I try to do that for subscribers. When we have our short positions, we have, whether it's a three times short or a one time short, I have the same percentage that I want to I, I want to risk, and that's like two, maybe three percent. Sometimes it'll be a four percent if it's a very small, like we nibbled yesterday at something. A nibble you can take a little bit more, uh, but nothing. If if you are down, I'm just gonna let me go back to this uh, 120. So the ten percent, yeah, but that's the highs. Now it could turn around by the end of the day, but this is what you've got right now. I no, I. If you want to keep something, okay, but if you've just got like a few, get out, they give you your money that you can use again for another time. But this is one of the strong stocks in a strong sector. And that's, uh, it's like the builders at this particular time. Track the supply companies doing well. Sorry, I'll be back, Dow's up 200. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30 plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen, as well as many more. And he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30 year T-bonds as they both influence Forex markets tremendously. When you sign up for the Tiger Forex Report, you also gain instant access to Teddy's 60-minute webinar archive. He just hosted Forex Strategies and Fundamentals, What is Behind the Tiger Forex Report. For all the details and to start your 30-day Tiger Forex Report subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are you ready to take charge of your financial future? TFNN is your gateway to the world of trading and investing. Whether you're starting out or scaling up, TFNN empowers traders and investors of all skill levels with top-notch investing systems, strategies, and techniques. It's time to protect and grow your money with insight you can trust. Join us live Monday through Friday during market hours for exclusive content that moves with the markets. At TFNN, we bring the trading floor to you. Our seasoned hosts are here to answer your calls and questions live on the air. Check out the Tiger's Den for just $1 and follow us on YouTube and become part of our vibrant community. And remember, at TFNN, we're so confident in the value we provide that we offer a 30-day money-back guarantee on all new premium newsletter subscriptions and services. You have absolutely nothing to risk, so why wait? Tune in live to Tiger TV and transform your trading journey. Because when you know better, you invest better. Join us and experience the difference today. TFNN, educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, so let's go to the question that came up here, which is MRO, Marathon. Let me just get MRO. MRO. So this is Marathon Oil Corporation. A long time ago, we had it. We don't have it anymore. Uh, it went almost to the 200 period moving average, and then it re got repelled. Because the stochastic's at 82%, how it holds the 80% level is going to be important because the MACD is good. The 9 is over the 14. And this, you can see, is attempting to make a cup formation. So the, let me go through the ones that you've asked me about. It's, I've got a feeling that it kind of, they have the same chart patterns. Let's just see. RRC, I don't know. RRC, do I? 
Uh, oh, yeah, of course, range uh, resource. Uh, oh, not, a much nicer chart. A, B. Oh, it's already gone to a D. Isn't that interesting? And now it's pulling back a little bit. So that was that a D over there? A, B, C, D. Yeah, so this is good. I like to see character of a stock. And if the character of the stock says that it very often likes to get to a D and then it will pull back, I like that because it tells me uh, it's in the Chapman Wave methodology. It, 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 there are, it embraces that particular methodology. So, and then D starts a pullback. Sometimes the pullback is very extended. Sometimes it's not. I can't say sometimes. It's only just done that once. I need to do this here very quickly. So that's peak A, peak B. And remember, there's nothing here that I can make up. I can only follow. C, and then D pulls back, and then it goes to a spike. It's not a rogue wave. It's a right arm extension because the technicals did concur, and then they failed right there in the 37-ish area, and it plummets down to the most recent low in the 27, maybe even 2680 area, and now it's got the peak D. So let me just finish that one, and the next one that I'm looking at, these are all uh, LRBRT, LBRT, Liberty something. Let me just see. Yeah, Liberty Energy Company. Now, this is, obviously, I'm going to say to you, this is the best one. Why? Because peak A, peak B, underneath it, it goes, uh, nope, it doesn't, that's an A. So this is, oops, that's an A. And this is a gray B right here, gray beard right there. Yeah, so this is holding way better because it's closer to uh, not all-time highs, but multi-year highs. So let me just say, okay, so out of, out of these, let me just tell you what I'm looking at. This is the one that shows the most resources, resourceful, um, energizing energy, uplift every time it rallies. It has a very strong move, but it's also capable of giving a very strong move to the downside. So going backwards, and I'm, I'm pretty sure you'll long these because otherwise, uh, you know, just a review of the energy. So in the energy area, uh, peak A, peak B, peak C, peak D, brand new A, B, C, and it's brand new leg D. Uh, Mac D is good. So monthly chart still very strong. Weekly chart, uh, let me just move away from this. Weekly chart is holding very nice. This is the best one at 20.73, down 40 cents today. If it closes under 19.30, eh, let me just say if it closes under 20, by within the next four trading sessions that just says you're gonna to have to wait it's stalling it's gonna take its time if it has a rally i don't care whether it closes above it but if it's able to take out not uh, the 22nd high of 20.65 but the 20.19 oops 21.34 high of the 21st which is the 21st was i think tuesday was it a uh, wednesday uh, a couple of days ago that is the action that you want to see. And that says it's going to go to an overlapping peak C really quickly. And it should then go to even a D. This is the best one. Going back to RRC. RRC is that uh, um, range range resources. A slightly different products they have, uh, but I suspect it's very close. Um, this is also a monthly chart that is still pretty good, making a U taking the second U for a W formation, but the failure this week to come to not hold about 32, but you'd be at 30.89 right now, says the 200 period moving average of 30.38 could be a magnet and it could pull the price back so that every time it rallies, it has to be retesting. This by, I'll, I'll say by Wednesday, I'd say, I'd normally say Tuesday, but I'm going to give it all the way to Wednesday. If it's able to touch 31.80, and it's at 30 points. It's a point higher. That means something left in the. It drops very quickly, 88 cents. So it should have a very quick run uh, up a dollar if everything's good. If it's able to do that, then I think the whole group, you should see them all move simultaneously in unison together. This uh, candle right now with Friday coming up in a few hours' time, closing at 4 o'clock, this is not a great candle. So at any time next week, if it's able to get to 31.90 and close there on any day, there's a good chance you can retest this peak D high just above 33. So most importantly, 30 has to hold. No, I'm going to make it 29.50. It can go underneath. No, 
2920. 2920 is the, is the support that must hold if it pulls back at all. Next one that we're going to go back to is MRO, Marathon Oil. Look at this beautiful pyramid formation. And it goes, if I go to that doji as my, my plumb line right there, look, it made a perfect left side, right side price tie match. It held the 21 support. It's now pushed into 23.87. So this is the one at the very moment that we're talking, down 11 cents at 23.88, 80, 89. If it's able today by 3 o'clock, if it's able to touch 23, uh, 23, I'd say 23.95, but really 24. If it touches 24 by the end of the day, this is the one that could actually be the leader in the next move up. Monthly chart says, uh-oh, dreaded H. Weekly chart says, well, you've had one test of the low. you got to push away from it. This is a new leg B, a gray leg B. The stochastic and MACD are not really good. So it's the daily chart in MRO marathon that is going to give you the idea that it's going to go to a leg D, but the 24.66 level becomes a magnet if it can get to 24, one penny above peak C, 24.41, all of a sudden the magnet becomes 24.66, and then, then it can hug that line for a little bit. Don't, this must not, by Tuesday of next week, I'm giving this time, um, not I'm giving it a shorter time, I'm saying if it closes under 23.20 in the next two days, it's just kind of stuck. So I hope that helps you. Looking out, though, um, this is one of the weaker ones out of the, the group in the RRC. Yeah, this is one of the weaker ones. You can see that it pulled back the most in the weekly chart. And the best, so best is Liberty, second is Range, and third is uh, T, uh, is uh, uh, MRO marathon. All right, next question. Uh, let me see. I think there was a, a question. Um, can I do MMA? Yeah, in the, in the Tiger YouTube. MMA is MMA. No, that can't be right. I think you wanted MRNA. Uh, where did that go? Yes, MRNA. Just from this distance. I, I, it looked like a net. MRNA, yeah. So this is Moderna Inc. Biotech COVID. Now they're getting stories that keep coming in and coming out. This is a tough one. I'm going to come back to a Moderna. I think that it is basically news story related um, at this particular point because it has to hold that big gap up gain. It's done that so far. We'll get to it as soon as I return. Dow's up 190. The Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at tfnn.com. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. 
Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Yeah, so let me just do this. So Moderna... I, I believe, uh, correct, uh, they, was it earnings? Uh, yes, it was earnings related. So the fact that it's holding, the fact that it hasn't taken out yesterday's high of 101.73, today's high is 100.97, I would have preferred that it took it out. This is a leg B. Um, most importantly, um, it hasn't pulled back halfway. So this, at this point, it's holding very well. Now, I don't know whether you're long, you're short, whether you're looking to add or you, whatever it is. If I was looking at this right now, I'd say, based on the weekly chart, this is good action because the uh, 9 pin moving average finally flipped back to green. But it tells me that something's not quite right with this company. Uh, that's number one. Number two is, based on the high of 497.49 in August of 2021, and the most recent low in the uh, the most recent low, in fact, is just above six, at sixty itself. It's sixty sixty two point fifty five. Um, this is nice action, but it's not great. What you want to see is by next week, this two hundred period moving average in the daily of one hundred and six point oh four hit, and you want it to pop just above it. And then maybe pull back a little bit, but then the very next leg to the upside must get to the 109, 110 area. And it has to do that by about the first week, uh, first full week of March, which will be the week of the fourth. And if that's the case, then I'm looking at it and I'm saying Moderna's in play. But as it stands right now, so even with that news release, Today should have been a much better day. That's what we've seen in many of the stocks. It's not bad. I'm just saying I would like it to go higher. What would I do? I'd say I'd wait. If I want to do, if I did my homework and I like Moderna in terms of the, the fundamentals and, and other things, I don't see in the weekly or the monthly anything yet that says, wow, you've got to grab Moderna. Something tells me Moderna has to test the 93, 91 area another time over the next two, three weeks. That's number one. Number two is within the context of, <clears throat> within the context of this spike up here that we're looking at over the last trading toodle, toodle, toodle in the 86 area, suddenly it's trading in the hundreds, um, and then now it's at 97. All I can say is that it needs follow through to show me that there's conviction it wasn't a one-off. So I'm, I'm, I don't have anything that says to me, grab it right now. What it does say is you could start a position um, I don't know if I'd even do it at 97.74. I'd probably say I'd like it to test 96 to 95. Why? It gives the best risk reward. And if it doesn't get there and it holds here, and by Tuesday we're looking at it at 101 or higher, that's where I'd start to say, okay, now I can start a position. At this point, I just find it a little difficult. That's just my own style right now. I find it a little difficult to get in. I, I Something makes me a little uncertain about the way it popped up. And there's no follow through today. There should have been a lot. A lot of people should have said, man, I've missed this. I want in. And they're not saying that. They're saying, gee, that was a nice pop. I'm getting asked some. So by the end of the day, I could change my mind. But right now, 
I don't have any, con I don't even have conviction to short it because I don't think it's going to go down that much. It's trying to form a base in 92. So I just, I, I'll try to get to it again Monday or Tuesday. Remind me. Uh, that's Jeff in the uh, in YouTube. Um, oh, uh, along an April. Oh, you're along an April call. Okay, I don't have 110. No, 100. Okay, 100 call. I have no problem with that. I, I think, no, I. that's fine. 100 call. Let's deal with it again early next week. You've got time, but I need to see the proof. Okay. Um, right, next question came in. Um, let me just do this. I want you to do it yesterday, and I didn't do it. You know, I've spoken about for about a year and a half now. I've been talking about a two-click session. So have a look at this. And that's the, that's the reason why I said to um, um, it was a zip in the den about his uh, TSCO. You, you, you must take something off. But even though there could be a pullback, and look, I'm sure if the market pulls back now, which I think it's going to do, you might see TSO start to pull back a little bit. But it's one of the strongest stocks. You don't want to be sac a sacrificial lamb. By having it closed near the high, your premium is going to shrink. And then if Monday it gaps up, you got. I mean, you get very little. Right now, you've got something that you can you can use. But I wanted to show you this. So I was looking at this. I didn't do it. I just it's a, sometimes the brain and the yeah, the brain and the fingers are in two places. Um, I was busy doing my newsletter and all that, and I kept looking at the uh oh. Yesterday you saw a green nine period moving average. You spoke about it. Um, look at this fantastic move. Uh, this was yesterday. Look at the green nine period moving. If you use the 10 minute chart and use this one indicator from the gap up back at, at 350, that's 10 minutes to four before the close on the 21st of February, you would have held this all the way to this little distance here. So what was that? That was at 49.88. We'll go to the high, 49.88. But look at this. It went pink just briefly, but you would have gone out at 5 o'clock on the 22nd at 5,094. Now let's go to the low, 5,092. Then you would have got zigzagged. You would have lost and won and lost and won. But then what happened is, it went pink, pink, pink. It was in this narrow, long rectangle that is the character of the evening session so many times. I've spoken about this. I really would like to have a master class and discuss all these different techniques that really help some of you with your uh, uh, evening trading, your intraday trading, just using simple techniques. That's all I want. And then it broke out. And look what happened. It went this morning at 6.20. It went, the green went positive. And it went uh, 620, it went positive, let's go to the high of at 98. And right now it's still red, pink, but you're at 5110. If you use the, let's skip the uh, one minute and go to the five minute, you would have been long this morning from um, 5.30 this morning at 5096. And you would have just been taken out here at 5110. And you could have got out of that peak D because it was stalling right there. So um, I, this is a, and that's just based on this one indicator, that my technical tool of last resort. Now, I'm going to go to that for a very simple reason because I want you – this is where you're, you're looking at something and you're saying to yourself, wow, how easy is this? So the Dow, based on this nine-period exponential moving average – Look how high we are from the nine period moving average. And look, even in that sharp dip down around about the 15th, 16th of the month, the nine did not go negative. And that's the reason why I've said we want to stay for subscribers. We could do short term trades, but there was you know, a couple of short term trades. We were, we were short for a little while. I call them short term trades, even though it was days and days that we actually had the position. Then it got stopped out for a very small, was it 1.8% loss? I mean, meantime, the three times long UDOW that we have makes up for anything like that. And this really just negated for a little while the diamonds that we still have. But I want you to say, using this technical indicator, and this is the one that beats me up because I, I could have done this for subscribers as it flipped positive right here, even if it was a day or two later, back in early January, when it went from for one or two days pink. That we nine average to this moment, and that would have been with the SMHs at 172. There it is at 209. 
It's 10% high more, uh, higher, and it's still green. What a nice indicator. I've stuck with that with my Microsoft. Look at that, Microsoft, night period moving average, almost red pink, but it's still green. I'll be back, Basil Chapman, Dow's up 161. Are you ready to take charge of your financial future? TFNN is your gateway to the world of trading and investing. Whether you're starting out or scaling up, TFNN empowers traders and investors of all skill levels with top-notch investing systems, strategies, and techniques. It's time to protect and grow your money with insight you can trust. Join us live Monday through Friday during market hours for exclusive content that moves with the markets. At TFNN, we bring the trading floor to you. Our seasoned hosts are here to answer your calls and questions live on the air. Check out the Tiger's Den for just $1 and follow us on YouTube and become part of our vibrant community. And remember, at TFNN, we're so confident in the value we provide that we offer a 30-day money-back guarantee on all new premium newsletter subscriptions and services. You have absolutely nothing to risk, so why wait? Tune in live to Tiger TV and transform your trading journey because when you know better, you invest better. Join us and experience the difference today. TFNN, educating investors. The reality is that navigating financial markets can be risky. Markets can be chaotic and difficult to understand. Having the latest market advice can help you turn this chaos into a key for creating winning trades. At TFNN, we understand that it can be hard to find reliable market news. That's why each of our market experts offers their very own market newsletter. A must-have tool for every trader out there striving to find an edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets so you can analyze the market before you trade. Try any of our great newsletters risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee. Just visit the Newsletters tab on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at tfnn.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Hi, folks. So just real quickly, so a question came in about Tesla. So Tesla right now is, oh, I typed in the wrong place. Tesla, oh, Rivian and Tesla. So I would just say Rivian, I've spoken about this. I don't know how long I've spoken about this. I see... I see absolutely no reason at this time to even consider being in Rivian. It just, uh, it looks like a great car. I mean, I know someone up the street who has the wagon, seems to love it. 
Um, not the point. I, the point is, what happens when they fall? What do you do with the darn car? I mean, but at this particular point, it just looks like it's not going anywhere. <laughs> what it is, it's going downhill. TSLA, uh, Tesla, um, just side, stuck sideways. I don't think it's breaking down at this point, but it hasn't participated in the rally. So it looks to me like it's just stuck at the 200 period moving average of the weekly chart around about 202. It's trading right now at 195. So that's the resistance. The final question was, uh, where, oh, I want you to do this as we're going to break. I think we might have made the day's high. Doesn't mean you're going to break down, but I think we're making the day's high. Oh, and, and, and Nike, if it pulls back, or watch the um, intraday. Watch the 105 level. Uh, one other thing that I want you to do. Oh, here it is. ESH24. There it goes. Yep, there we go. So we've got that. 